Welcome back to BJP Lifestyle guys. Today we're going to be installing some brake pedal covers and gas pedal covers I guess. Um, you can kind of see here we've got both of them uh, looking nice and fancy there. And we're going to go ahead and pop those on. Uh, we're going to do a full install video here and show you guys how they look before and after and how uh, they overall perform after. Uh, first things first though I do want to say that this was recommended down below in the comment section by one of you guys. I'll pop it up here if I can find it. Uh, but shout out to you for that. It was like a cheap mod. Uh, this is just another cheap mod that you guys can do to your car. That was recommended. I saw it and I was like that's a really good idea. I like the look of that so I'm going to go ahead and put it on my car. So when we go ahead and jump in here we can see this is what we're working with right now so we just have these super scuffed looking uh, pedal covers here that we can almost just rip off because we're gonna have to rip them off anyway or I think we only have to rip that one off yeah so we only have to rip the brake one off the gas pedal actually just is gonna slide right over top so this is gonna be a pretty simple install should be pretty quick um, should be a good little video here for you guys if you guys are still on the channel looking for cheaper free mods this one's like 10 to 20 bucks unless you go with the Mopar ones and it's gonna kind of look something like that um, it's gonna look good I think uh, especially once if you upgrade your lights down here which I just found out this is kind of flopping here I don't think this is supposed to you know be like that so maybe I'll fix that up while I'm here and then uh, yeah, let's jump right into the video and get into uh, installing this and making these look really nice. Now, before this video starts, guys, I just want to make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. We're on track to actually hit it, which is kind of crazy. So hopefully we can do that. If you guys can subscribe, if you're not already, make sure you do it now. I'd really appreciate it, but let's jump right into the video. All right, hopefully you guys can see from there and we're set up okay. Uh, what we're going to have to do here is rip this one off. So I'm just literally going to go ahead and rip it right off. And uh, that actually came off a little bit easier than uh, I kind of would have wished because I feel like that should not come off that easily. I mean, that thing just fell right off. And then obviously we don't need to do anything on that one. So uh, for the brake, it's going to be kind of a pain because you see it has this nice, nice rubber lip here on the back. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you. There you go. Uh, so it does have this nice rubber lip on the back. So we're going to have to get that to stretch around. And right now it's pretty cold out. So it's not going to be too pliable. So we're going to go ahead and put this in a bowl with some really hot water, basically almost boiling for a little bit, uh, a few minutes or so. And it should hopefully loosen up. But let's go ahead and pop this other one on first. And then uh, we'll see how that looks. All right, I got a better angle here and I tried to fix that pretty good, but I don't know, the liners, like they took it down for something and then <laughs> apparently never put it back up. So, uh, or didn't do a good job. So that's cool. So we're gonna go ahead and stretch this over here. Like I said, it's pretty cold out today. So hopefully it goes on somewhat easily. People say to use a screwdriver, but I'm gonna be honest with you. How am I gonna get this in there? I don't, I don't know. Might be easier to start at the top actually. Cause that's kind of like the tighter spot. All right, it feels like that's on pretty good. Um, it's not gonna just slide off or anything. It feels like it's fairly snug and it's not gonna move. Um, what I did was I got the top right corner first up here and then this corner and kind of got the top on and then pulled it down. And then I was able to pull this corner around in the bottom right, which then allowed me to kind of force my finger under here and pull this side over as well and then just kind of work the sides. And uh, yeah, overall it's pretty much on. Now it's this boy that's gonna gonna suck here the brake. So I'm gonna go get some really hot water in a bowl, heat it up, and then uh, soak it for a couple minutes, and we'll see how it does. All right, so I don't know if you can see the steam, but we have it in a in like a measuring cup with some ridiculously hot water, and we're just gonna leave this to sit for like two minutes or so, and then we'll come back to it, and hopefully it'll be pliable. Hopefully it doesn't burn me too bad, but we'll see. 
All right, I just made a quick phone call. Uh, it's nice because I have a floor mat here and uh, everything, so if I get a little water, it's fine. But if you don't have floor mats like the rubber ones, then maybe just throw a towel down so you don't get your carpet all soaked just in case. We're gonna pull this out and see how pliable it is. Um, so far, I mean, it's not super pliable. It's definitely more pliable than it was. I'm gonna go ahead and just try real quick and just see if it's possible for me to get it on. All right, we got three sides. This one is definitely tougher than the other pedal. I'm gonna pop that off. I'm not sure which side's gonna be the easiest to start with. I guess this corner's gonna be hard or harder than that one, so I'll start here, I guess. Try it this way. The problem is that there's like no real good way to get leverage on the the rubber here and it doesn't bend that well like even after heating it up so we'll see if we can get it here if not we'll have to use something else yeah it's hard now like this this rubber is like hard so we'll go back in the hot water actually i'm gonna go heat this up even more and see if we can get it to a point where it's uh a little hotter all right the water's way hotter this time so hopefully we can uh, loosen this up a little bit and not burn myself too bad quick little pro tip for you guys while that's steaming away is to use moving blankets when you're doing something like this uh, a lot of people don't think about it. you can get these at harbor freight i think these were like five dollars for this one but you can get these super cheap at harbor freight and for when you're doing something like this and you need to be like kneeling on the side of your car or whatever this is a perfect option for you to use. So hopefully this thing works and we can go ahead and pop this baby on. All right, this thing is damn hot now. So hopefully we can get this on now. It's literally burning my hands to touch, but we're still just gonna send her here. And do that. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this when it's this hot. I don't know if I, Heated it up too much. Three of the four corners are on now, and then it's just this last side and corner if I can hopefully work it around. It's a little loose right now. Um, it's on for the most part, you can see. It does wiggle a little tiny bit, um, but it is locked on all the way around. So I think once it cools a little bit and that rubber kind of settles a little bit more, it won't be too bad. Plus there's obviously still water in there, which is a little bit of movement, but overall that's not gonna be too much movement. I don't think that it'll affect anything. Um, you can see it kind of moves side to side a little bit. Um, so I'll let you know in a little bit once it cools down how it's doing and if it's gonna look good and how it's gonna stay. And I'll show you some other outer views. Overall, once you heat it up really good, it's not gonna take that uh, much effort to get on compared to uh, how it was before. All right guys, so stepping in from afar, you can see this is what the car looks like. And then when you step in and it adjusts, you can see it looks really good. They've been sitting for a few minutes. So the brake pedal's still a little bit wobbly. I didn't really check how wobbly the other one was, but I don't think it's gonna like pop off or anything. I mean, it would take some serious force to pop it off. I mean, you saw the struggle of putting it on. I did get a little bit of water down here, so that's why I always say floor mats, floor mats, floor mats. Get yourself some floor mats. If you don't have floor mats, there are gonna be links down below for some cheap floor mats that are similar to these that are like a laser fit that I do recommend you go ahead and get. It's just gonna overall protect it, especially going into the winter here. But those brake pedals will be linked down below as well. Um, if you guys have any other cheap mods, let me know down below. I'm kind of pointing with a screwdriver here. This mod actually came from one of you guys' comments down below. So like I said, I'm always reading the comments and always taking those into account. And I wanna help other people find uh, some cheap, free, easy, good mods for their Jeep or their cars in general. So that's just one little one that we did here today. I have tons of other ones on the channel. If you haven't seen those already, make sure you check them out. Links will pop up 
across throughout the video. There's also a Jeep playlist that pops up at the start of the video, so make sure you check that out. And of course, make sure you like the video if you got any entertainment from it. Comment anything that you guys have said that would help um, with this. Uh, like I said, the hot water pretty much worked perfectly fine for me, and I think it would work perfectly fine for you. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you're not already subscribed, please do that now. I would appreciate it so very much, and it would really help the channel out. That's gonna be about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.